Yesterday, Rhode Island Governor Gina Raimondo and other state leaders held a news conference to outline a plan to fix the state's roads and bridges, which are crumbling in some cases. And they're going to do that by tolling big trucks, three axles or more. Now, if you think this problem with deteriorating roads and bridges just began in recent years in Rhode Island, well, today's flashback should tell you otherwise. It seems Rhode Island has never really kept up with maintenance of its roads and bridges. Here's a story from 17 years ago today, May 28, 1998. Shoveling parts of a Rhode Island bridge into a dump truck. Just another day in the life of DOT workers who fight a never-ending and mostly losing battle with deteriorating and dilapidated bridges. First and foremost, I'm glad nobody was hurt when there was no damage. DOT Director William Ankner reacting to the latest chapter of falling bridges. He and his engineers dropped what they were doing and responded immediately when told by the I-team of the falling debris. Here, under the I-195 underpass, where about 200 commuters park their cars daily, three and four inch thick chunks of concrete broke away from under the bridge's worn underside. Luckily, the cement chunks fell off the bridge sometime during the night when cars weren't parked here. But imagine if they had fallen this morning. Someone could have gotten out of their car and been greeted with one of those crashing on their head. How do you feel about standing under the bridge right now? Not too good. Any car parked under many parts of this bridge is in jeopardy. That overpass isn't there anymore. It was part of the old Route 195, not far from where they want to build a baseball stadium on the Providence Riverfront today. And, of course, the I-Team reporter in 1998 is Jim Terracani, who retired from the TV news business about a year ago. Our Rhode Island, where some things never...